Thank you, thank you, Maria. Uh, yes, good evening, everybody. So I'm Melanie Miller. I'm 65 years old. So Maria keeps talking about 60. I'm 65. And it took me until I was about 50 years old before I actually started cooking. Because as Maria said, when I got married, I told my husband that if he gets a meal at night, he needs to view it as a bonus. But guess what? Now I actually cook every single day. And in fact, I think it was maybe two nights ago, I made um, a dessert instead of a meal. And I said to Alan, I'm really, really busy tonight. I'm not gonna be making your meal, you're on your own. And Alan said, it's okay, it's been so long that I haven't had to cook for myself, I'm in. So of course he used his breakfast maker to make an omelet. So um, this is my 18th year at Tupperware. And um, I realized after I arrived at Tupperware for a little while, that um, cooking is something that could really make a big difference in my life. Now, like Maria, I have three grown-up children who are the same age as Maria's children. They are 29, my youngest, Susie, um, and she's there with her husband, and they have a business, a CrossFit business. And in the middle there is my first little grandson. I should have put in an updated uh, picture. He is absolutely adorable, but I'm totally biased. Um, and then I have my middle daughter, Hannah, who is actually right now getting on a plane to go to Italy for 10 days. And she's a vet in Toronto. And then my oldest daughter, Violet, she makes a living by online gaming. I don't mean betting. I mean playing games that other people watch and pay her to do. And the little dog is Killian and my husband, Alan, who is um, a great support and uh, keeps me on my toes. I think that's what I would say about Alan. So being in control of your kitchen means that you need to have ingredients that are gonna go towards your repertoire. Now, we are aiming to be the best at the world of getting people back into their kitchen, but we want them to get back into their kitchen because they want to be able to save time, save money, eat more healthily, and be a solution to pollution. So the best way we can do that is showing them how to be organized to be able to have a repertoire. Now, I've started using this word regularly on my live at fives because I have certain things that I cook all the time and um, and they come up and I say to myself, oh, can I really show that on live at five again? But the, the reality is that's how I live. And so I show the recipes, I talk about them every time and then occasionally I'll throw in something that I've Googled and I've said, I've got pork tenderloin, I've got a bit of white wine, I've got rice or noodles, I've got these frozen vegetables, what can I do? And you know what, Google and ChatGPT, they'll give you a recipe to try. And so that's how I keep it interesting. But what I want to show you right now is my pantry, uh, not my pantry, I'm going to save that to last, um, is my uh, fridge. So my fridge is not as full as Stephanie's fridge when you saw Stephanie's fridge, but it is full of the things that I need. And there's a hole here because that's where I put my leftovers ready for tomorrow to be able to have lunch. Um, and I've recently fallen in love with the crystal waves to um, serve as leftovers. So you have a healthy meal at lunchtime uh, the day after you've cooked. So I always have peppers and my peppers are always uh, cut up, ready to use. I always have broccoli and cauliflower. I put them in the same container. I always have carrots. Um, we also have in here regularly uh, small fruits because one thing Alan and I do have at lunchtime or breakfast is uh, yogurt with uh, fruits. And um, it was very interesting to, uh, to look at how much you might pay 
for um, a yogurt and fruits at Starbucks is something like $8.50. And yet for us, it probably costs us $2.50 just because we buy, you know, posh, posh yogurt, I suppose, um, and, um, and all the small fruits. And you know how small fruits, uh, the price of them can mount up. Um, and I've recently had to try, there's some things at the top here which are not usually here. I've recently, recently had to try a vegan cooking because my daughter Susie is um, breastfeeding and uh, she is not able to uh, eat dairy products. So let's have a look now at my freezer. So my freezer is small. I have three shelves. And I have on the top shelf, I generally have my my frozen fruit, my frozen veg, although I see I ha couldn't have room for all my meats. I have a ground beef in there. And then in my middle drawer, I have very few meals made in advance. I really, I personally have stopped making, uh, stopped freezing meals because I cook every day. Um, but... I, when my kids were younger, uh, I was definitely freezing meals for them because they were, you know, like lived in the fridge. Um, and then in the base, as you can see, I have ground beef, I have white fish, I have sausages, edamame beans have become, I mean, I didn't even know they existed until probably a couple of years ago. So my freezer is the place, I'm just gonna turn you around because I don't want to keep, hang on. My freezer is the place which I guess controls mostly what we eat in the sense of the protein that we eat. And my uh, freezer, for example, today I made beef fiesta, right? Beef fiesta is one of my staple meals. It is one of the repertoire that probably comes out once every three weeks. And I know that I'll always have ground beef. I'll always have a can of the ripe tomatoes. I'll always have rice. I have frozen corn, frozen peppers. I always have onions. It's one of those meals that if I say in the morning, I'm gonna do beef fiesta tonight, I know that I have the ingredients because it's part of my repertoire. So here is um, the beef fiesta that I made a little bit earlier this, this evening, actually on my live at five. And you have to tell, you know, doesn't it look delicious? The smell is gorgeous. And I know, can you see how much there is in there? So I worked out um, that for Alan and me, that's like six, to eight portions, right? So if we look at uh, this, we have a total price for four servings, 1386. And in fact, I found one that was even more expensive at the grocery store. It was 692 for one portion, right? Um, and the total price for going out, yep, $72. And for me, I would say that's six portions. So it, it probably came to about $8 for, uh, for all of this, um, you know, amazing yumminess. So I really want you to see that. See how English I am? I have all my fruits out on the counter, guys, right? <laughs> that is an Englishism. Maria's always talking about the uh, Italianisms. That's an Englishism. So, um, Tomorrow, I know that those leftovers uh, will go into my crystal waves. Um, and some, in this case, I might freeze some because really, it's just so much for us. So I always have chicken breast, chicken thighs, pork tenderloin, ground beef. And then I know I have the uh, veggies to go with it. Okay, so... My pantry is like the hub of my life. It's the joy of my life. It's like I go into my pantry and it's totally zen, right? And that's because it was designed 
with Tupperware in mind. So I'm trying to get the camera. It was designed with Tupperware in mind. And so all of the shelving is uh, fitted to fit Tupperware, to fit the modular mates. And I'm a, I have lots and lots of um, staples like rice, etc. I can also store all my Tupperware equipment. I have recipe books. And my new addition is I've set up a snack center. And I've done this because I want to test these products. So I'm testing the new Ultra Clears and the new One Touch canisters. So I've set those up as a, a, a um, snack center, and I'm going to see how all the stuff fares in those. And I do want to talk to you quickly about muffins. So I now have a standard muffin mix. And what I've worked out is that if you make muffins and you have um, a standard mix in your pantry, what it means is that uh, you will make muffins and you can add in any fruit to them whatsoever. And I was like really shocked to find that when I did a search on how much muffins cost at other places, you can pay four seventy five for a muffin at Starbucks. I'm not sure which one uh, um, Marie Pierre showed you there, but I have a muffin mix which I make up regularly. And um, you know, making muffins for yourself is much much cheaper. Um, One dollar twenty for six portions, five ninety seven when you buy it from the grocery store, and. 13, 14, yeah, I think actually, Mary Pierre, that's a generous, like if you think six, fours are 24, like you could pay 24 bucks for six muffins. Anyway, I love what I do. Um, I have learned so much by being at Tupperware. Um, I would never have been cooking the way I do. I love the opportunity to share with other people. And uh, my vision for my 2024 is to promote at least one new director and to finish as a million dollar organization going in for doubles next year. So thank you guys for listening to me. And uh, I hope I've inspired you to say, okay, I don't cook at the moment, but if Melanie can switch from never cooking to now operating in a kitchen like that, maybe that's something you can do. And joining Tupperware is the best way to start.